Welcome to our video on innovative thinking and its role in governance. In today's episode, we will explore the concept of innovative thinking, its significance in citizen-centric governance, its importance as a pillar of efficiency, the consequences of its absence in the civil service work and effective ways to enhance this critical skill. So let's dive in. But before we delve into the role of innovative thinking in governance, let's first understand the context of Mission Karmyogi. Mission Karmyogi is a national program for civil services capacity building aimed to reform Indian bureaucracy. The goal, which our Honorable Prime Minister Narendra Modi has in mind, was started with the intention of building a highly effective civil service that will do more to further the growth of the nation. Under the direction of the Honorable Union Minister, Dr. Jitendra Singh, Department of Personal and Training, the institutional framework for the mission was structured. There are 20 million bureaucrats in India, touching the lives of millions of people. They are the part of the policy making as well as their execution. They are the backbone of our country. A lot of expectations of the nation are attached with the performance of these officials who come from different background, environment, capabilities and discharge diversified duties assigned to them. Mission Karm Yogi, on the other hand, has been designed to change the HR management system for government employees from rule-based to role-based while creating the necessary expertise. Additionally, as a result of this, government officials now have access to competency-based human resource and governance. Competencies have been defined in many ways. However, the most practical and an easy way to understand is that competencies are those underlying characteristics of an employee which can result in effective and superior performance in a job or a role. Mission Karmyogi's new competency-based governance model give central training institute like ours the chance to create competency-based training for the civil servants. There are 30 competencies that have been divided into five categories. They are ethos, ethics, equity, efficiency, and productivity. Each competency has a definition and its proficiency level. Additionally, there are behavioral indicators for each proficiency level that are objective, measurable, and necessary for a variety of jobs in the ministries and departments. The main goals of the CBTs are to strengthen each officer's functional competence and to awaken their inner power and abilities. Under the fourth competency efficiency, today the focus is on innovative thinking. Innovative thinking refers to the ability to generate and implement creative ideas and solutions. It involves approaching problems and challenges in novel ways and thinking outside the box to find new approaches, perspectives and possibilities. Innovative thinking is instrumental in citizen-centric governance as it drives effective public services, encourages citizens' engagement and facilitate positive social change. It plays a vital role in the following aspects in problem solving and service delivery. Innovative thinking allows government to identify and address citizens' needs more efficiently. By embracing creative approaches, governments can improve service delivery, streamline process and leverage technology to make public services more accessible and citizen-friendly. Citizens' engagement and participation are fostered through innovative thinking. Governments can create platforms and opportunities for citizens to actively participate, provide feedback and collaborate in decision making. Initiatives like open data initiatives, digital platforms and participatory budgeting empower citizens to contribute to policy making and service design, thereby enhancing a sense of ownership and community development. Collaboration and co-creation are facilitated by innovative thinking, enabling governments to work with citizens, civil society organizations and the private sector. By incorporating diverse perspectives and expertise, citizen-centric governance can generate innovative solutions and address complex challenges, leading to stronger partnership for sustainable development. Continuous improvement and adaptability are encouraged through innovative thinking, enabling governments to assess and enhance policies and services based on citizens' feedback and evolving needs. 
A culture of innovation allows governments to learn from failure, experiment and adapt approaches accordingly, ensuring policies and services remain relevant and responsive. Transparency and accountability are promoted through innovative thinking. By leveraging innovative technologies and data-driven approaches, governments can enhance transparency in decision-making, improve access to information and ensure accountability in public service delivery. This empowers citizens to actively participate, monitor government actions and hold authorities accountable. For example, the Smart Cities Mission in India is an example of innovative thinking in citizen-centric governance. The mission was aimed to transform cities by leveraging technology and innovative approaches to improve urban infrastructure and services. Through citizen engagement and participation, city residents were involved in the decision-making process, allowing them to voice their needs and priorities. The mission also promoted transparency and accountability through the use of technology, data-driven solutions and citizens' feedback mechanism. By fostering innovative thinking, the Smart Cities mission strives to create livable and sustainable cities that meet the evolving needs of Indian citizens. Innovative thinking is a crucial element of efficiency as it drives improvements, enhances productivity and enables organizations to adapt to change. This is equally important for civil servants due to the following reasons. Innovative thinking empowers civil servants to approach challenges with fresh perspectives, finding creative solutions to optimize processes and achieve better outcomes. In an ever-evolving world, civil servants must be adaptable and receptive to new ideas in order to efficiently address emerging issues. Innovative thinking allows civil servants to identify opportunities for resource optimization. By leveraging alternative methods and technology, civil servants can streamline processes making the most of limited resources such as time, budget and manpower. This results in increased efficiency and effectiveness in delivering public services. Moreover, innovative thinking promotes a citizen-centric approach among civil servants. By actively engaging with citizens, understanding their needs and finding innovative ways to meet those needs, civil servants can ensure that public services are tailored to the requirement of the communities they serve. Furthermore, innovative thinking encourages civil servants to embrace technological advancement by leveraging digital tools, automation, data analysis and communication platforms. Civil servants can streamline processes, improve information sharing and enhance service delivery. Technology enables civil servants to carry out tasks more efficiently, ultimately providing better services to the public. Lastly, innovative thinking fosters a culture of continuous learning and improvement among civil servants. By actively seeking out innovative ideas and solutions, civil servants can enhance their skill, knowledge and capabilities. This continuous learning empowers civil servants to perform their duties more efficiently and effectively. When a civil servant lacks the skill of innovative thinking in their work, it can have several negative consequences. For instance, they may struggle to effectively address complex problems, relying on conventional solutions and becoming resistant to change. This can lead to inefficiencies and suboptimal outcomes. There may be a failure to optimize resource utilization, resulting in wasted time, budgetary inefficiencies, and underutilization of available manpower. A lack of innovative thinking can hinder a citizen centric approach, as civil servants may fail to understand and address the needs of citizens they serve, leading to dissatisfaction and decreased trust. Additionally, Without innovative thinking, civil servants may become stagnant in their professional growth, missing out on learning new skills and staying updated with emerging trends. This can limit their ability to adapt to changing demands and hinder their career development. Moreover, they may miss out on opportunities for improvements, collaboration and partnerships that could enhance service delivery and overall efficiency. 
A lack of innovative thinking decreases adaptability, making it difficult for civil servants to respond effectively to changing circumstances and meet evolving needs of the citizens. In order to ensure efficient and effective governance, it is crucial for civil servants to cultivate and apply innovative thinking skills in their work. Enhancing and improving the skill of innovative thinking is crucial for civil servants. Here are some effective approaches to cultivate the skills. First and foremost, civil servants should develop a growth mindset that embraces challenges and sees failure as a valuable learning opportunities. Having a positive attitude towards experimentation and embracing new ideas is essential in fostering innovative thinking. Curiosity should be nurtured among civil servants. Actively seeking out ideas, perspectives, and possibilities allow them to broaden their thinking and explore innovative solutions. Asking thought-provoking questions and engaging in continuous learning contribute to the development of innovative thinking. Civil servants should be encouraged to use creative problem-solving techniques. Methods like brainstorming, mind mapping, and lateral thinking exercises can help them generate diverse ideas and stimulate innovative thinking in their work. Creating a collaborating environment is crucial for civil servants to enhance their innovative thinking skills. Encouraging collaboration, embracing diverse perspectives and fostering open communication enable the exchange of ideas and challenges, conventional thinking, leading to innovative insights and solutions. Continuous learning plays a significant role in fostering innovative thinking among civil servants. Participating in workshops, seminars, and training programs focused on innovation and problem solving helps them expand their knowledge and stay updated with the emerging trends and technologies. Allocating time for reflection is important for civil servants. Reflecting on their work, identifying areas for improvement, and considering alternative perspectives contribute to the development of innovative thinking skills. Civil servants should be encouraged to embrace change and take calculated risk. Being open to new approaches, experimenting with different methods, and learning from failures are crucial aspects of fostering innovation. Drawing inspiration from diverse sources is valuable for civil servants. Looking beyond their immediate field and gaining insight from various industries, disciplines, cultures, and experiences can stimulate their innovative thinking and help them find a unique solution to challenges. Engaging in creative exercises such as creative writing, art, or design thinking experiences exercises can further develop innovative thinking skills among civil servants. By applying these strategies and incorporating them into their work, civil servants can enhance the skill of innovative thinking enabling them to approach challenges creatively and find innovative solutions to serve the public more effectively. Thank you for watching our video on innovative thinking and its significance in governance. This content is curated with the help of the paper submitted by Brigadier V. Raghu under the guidance of IIPA faculty Dr. Kusum Lata. Brigadier Raghu was a participant of the 47th Advanced Professional Program in Public Administration at IIPA. Stay tuned for more such informative videos and don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. See you next time.